Yes, mama. More food, mama. More food. Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing 2600 games in the order they came out in, and today we are playing three games. We are playing MASH, Malanga, and Mangia, I think. I don't know how to pronounce those. Anyway, our first game today is MASH, which came out in 1983, and the box art here is just kind of a, a illustration of MASH, the TV show, Boston, Seoul, Coney Island, San Francisco, Death Valley. Yeah, got some signs in there, got some people running from a tent. And we get a free t-shirt worth purchase, Men's Medium, win 25000 in MASH game design contests, entry form inside. I wonder who won that. Okay, 20th Century Fox, Games of the Century. You've been piloting your chopper low through the trees, picking up wounded and rushing them back to the, uh, the 4077th MASH unit. There were enemy fire all around you, and you're still shaking like a leaf. You like to rest, but time is running out for the soldiers you rescue. There's no way around it. The pressure is on. You have to operate, and it's going to take a steady hand and a Hawkeye. I get it, because there was a character named Hawkeye. Let's play the game. Okay. So. Um, oh, I'm the blue chopper. And I've already been shot down. Not so good. Oh boy. So who's the yellow chopper? Just a different player? It's kind of weird. Uh, especially the premise of the game is saving people, because you think. Do I have to go back? Oh, I have to bring them back. Pick them up and bring them back to the tent. I get it. Oh, I got shot down yet again. Not so good at this. Which not so good at this. Comics are really great. Um, Wayne does a good job on those. He also does the Piff comic. You should check them out. He also has the podcast, the Not So Good at This Podcast. Oh boy. Um, which would have been a great name for my channel. I removed the bullet. How the hell do I get that one? Well, I, I killed a man. Alright, well, that's enough of that game. Let's, uh, let's rate it. So, graphics aren't horrible, but they're not great either. So, we'll give them four and a half. Sound is alright. Music. Uh, I did have the, the MASH theme song in the beginning, so that was kind of cool. Um, we'll give it a six. Story. Um, there is a little bit of story there of rescuing people and then operating on them. So, I'll give it a four. Controls seem okay, so we'll give that a five and a half. Funness, a three and a half. Does it hold my attention? Eh, about the same, three and a half. And overall, MASH is going to get a four. And that was MASH, and let's check out the next game. All right, our next game today, I think it's called Malangi. Not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce it. Came out in 1983. And the box art here. Answer Software Corporation presents a video game for the Atari 2600. Well, I... Suppose it's better than a novel. Uh, we got a little dude in one of those dog cones so he doesn't scratch himself. Uh, who appears to be running weirdly sideways from a orange monster. Uh, there's a door that says Endless Search. And there's a little green goblin watching the whole thing. That is a weird cover. Uh, ASC 101. Okay. Um... Help Commander Harrington Cragg of the Starship Endless Search escape the hot pursuit of the Malangi, a game that offers different playing speeds and strategy levels that are sure to challenge your mind and skills. Get ready to enjoy the action. This is the first of Answer Software's new and exciting series of video game cartridges designed specifically for user programmability. Interesting. Also, Answer Software. First game from them. Uh, back of the box is just a warranty. Good, because I didn't want to read that whole thing. And uh, I don't have any facts for this game, so let's get right into it. 1983, yep, we know that. Answer software. Uh, okay, apparently I am the little gray guy, and I think I have kind of a jetpack on. Not 
really sure what the point is. And s something happened? Okay. And I won? I think? What? Who? Okay. So, okay. Uh, let's figure this out. I'm the gray guy with the jetpack. I can touch these things, maybe. That seems to do nothing. The button seems to do nothing. And then every once in a while, they flash and turn into those things, which kill you if you touch them. But if I touch this, they turn back into those other things. Yep, yeah, makes perfect sense to me. Okay, answer software. Malengi. Graphics. Uh, we've seen better games at this point in the Atari's life, so you get a two and a half there. Sound. Um, pretty sure you rip it off somewhere, but I can't place it, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you a six for sound. Uh, and a three, because I got that pulsating music. Three and a half uh, story. Uh, it's kind of a weird int this little story on the box. We'll give it two and a half there. Controls. Controls are fine. The button does nothing, and I don't know what I'm doing. But other than that, the controls are okay. Three and a half. Funness, uh, a two does it hold my attention. A one and a half. And overall, Malengi is going to get a two and a half. That was Malengi. Let's play the next game. All right, our final game today is a game called Mangia, I think. Not sure how to pronounce that one either. Uh, and this game is a Spectra video uh, video game cartridge, Mangia, for the Atari and Sears video game system. And we have uh, artwork here of, it looks like a, a mom with a plate of spaghetti and meatballs and a Giving her son food or something. Uh, and that fridge in the back. I don't think you can fit much food in that fridge. It's very uh, shallow. Uh, Mangia, your mother has been cooking all day preparing your favorite pasta dish. But then nothing is too good for her favorite. Now it's only fair that you put a smile on her face, a gleam in her eye, and a glow in her heart. How? How else? Eat, eat. Mangia, Mangia, come on. It's good for you. Okay. <coughs> So apparently Mangia, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, is Italian for eat, apparently. So the whole point of this game, I guess, is to eat. So let's uh, play the game. I'm good at eating. <laughs> cool. All right, there's a plate there. Okay. So. Okay. I'm eating the pasta. Oh, I just threw the pasta at the window for some reason. <laughs> Apparently I can do that. I can throw it at the cat. Or I can eat it. What a weird game. So I just gotta eat all the pasta? I have no idea what's happening here. Here, take that, dog. And the table broke, apparently. Weird. Okay. Give me food, Mama. Food. I'm just gonna eat the pasta. So the table doesn't break. I don't know why I'm supposed to feed the animals. And who's that guy in the poster on the wall? Nobody knows. Yes, Mama. More food, Mama. More food. I will eat your food, Mama. For some reason. Why are you bringing me so much food? Apparently the dog wants some. Oh, sorry, dog. Cooper, do you want some pasta? Oh! I'm getting fatter. Oh. 
Okay. Well, now I want to see where this goes if I just keep eating pasta. More food, mama. More food. Boy, this is a fun game, huh, folks? Oh, boy, he's red. He changed his shirt because he ran out of shirt. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, his stomach exploded and he's dead and that's that game for you. Graphics. Um, they're big and colorful, so I'm going to give them a, a 7 there. Um, sound. Yeah, 3. Music. It's got some. That's got that going for it. 5. Story. Uh, mom tortures her kid by force feeding her spaghetti and meatballs. And I guess until his stomach explodes. That's an odd story. 3. Controls. You really just kind of shove food in your mouth. Funness, uh, a one. Does it hold my attention? Uh, a two. And overall, Mangia gets a one. Please like, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, and we'll see you next game.